Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure collection video. This is going to be episode 10 of D Hunter's complete unopened Batman action figure collection. This is going to focus on Kenner's The New Batman Adventures. But it's not just Kenner, there are also some Hasbro figures here. Pretty much anything under the banner of The New Batman Adventures. The New Batman Adventures is season 4 of Batman the Animated Series. It's where they redesigned all the characters. In my opinion, they made most of them look worse. But I still have much love for the show. In this video, we're going to take a look at each of the figures, wave by wave. And we're going to check out what I have both unopened and what little I have open from this collection. My collection is not complete. I believe I'm missing two individual figures as well as some vehicles. So, let's see how we got to this point. Before we dig into this video, let's take a quick look at my overall action figure collection. Here's when I had everything laid out in the house. So I think I've finally done it. I've unpacked all of the figures. As you can see here, we have the Diamond Select Toys Gotham Collection. Here's a bunch of my Mezco unopened figures. Some more Mattel stuff. Here's the Legends of the Dark Knight line. This is the Batman Power Attack line. Sort of Batman Unlimited. All my Justice League, Justice League Unlimited stuff. This is the entire DC Direct and DC Collectibles Arkham Collection. Mattel's 1966 line. DC Superhero Girls. All the different NECA Batman figures. Some Target exclusive line. All the amazing Yamaguchi figures back there. Some Spin Master stuff. The Mattel Batman Missions line. Of course, in the very back, it's my entire comic collection with all the recent McFarlane releases in front. And above that, got a bunch of DC Direct and Mattel figures in the last several years. Moving on, pretty much the entire Mattel's The Batman line. Back here in the back, got my SH Figure Arts Batman figures. This side, we've got all the different Mattel, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, Batman Begins figures, massive amount of piles. Back here, we've got the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series figures, and a lot of them are on top as well. Can't wait to get to that video. That one and the Arkham Collection and DC Universe Classics. Some videos I'm really excited to do. Here are the Mattel figures. I can see the Batman Legacy, Batman Unlimited. It goes all the way from the original Batman line. Here's the Batmobile. And it's going to go all the way to DC Super Heroes, DC Universe Classics, and Multiverse. A ton of figures. Great era with Mattel. Fun stuff, but I do like what McFarlane's doing, but I do miss these days, that's for sure. Going back to Kenner and Hasbro, ton of Batman Beyond, Batman the Animated Series stuff. I mean, that just seemed endless to go through, my word. Look at these piles of unopened figures. Batman the Animated Series continues all the way back here. Absolute ton of stuff just stacked up. On top of this table here, Got all the Mafex figures and a bunch of one-offs. Some Hasbro, some McFarlane, or Mattel rather, anniversary figures. Amazing Amaguchi, Kia Asima, all kind of different import type stuff. Then we've got JLA and Total Justice figures. And then on to all the rest of the DC Direct stuff. Bunch of DC Direct Batman related figures. Some more chill in the back here. And I filled up all these shelves temporarily, just storing all these DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And it's almost done. Here's the Mattel Batman Brave and the Bold line. I did not realize how extensive that got. And a ton more Brave and the Bold down here. Moving on again. Some old Toy Biz. Super Friends, 
and DC superhero figures leading into the Dark Knight collection then we'll go to the Batman Returns figures and then of course Batman Forever Batman and Robin it's a bunch of different bat caves and some more animated stuff in the back there. So let's start off by taking a look at Wave 1. This consists of Detective Batman, Crime Solver Nightwing, Crime Fighter Robin, and the Mad Hatter. Now what is this? What am I looking at? We have four different figures in Wave 1 and they're all pretty standard looking. A regular Batman, Nightwing, and Robin from the new Batman Adventures. And Mad Hatter looks pretty normal. Their accessories are crazy ridiculous and over the top. But each of these figures are in the right colors. No weird variants. Really cool that Kenner did this. Of course they did this right at the end as Hasbro started to absorb them. So let's take a look at them. Starting off with Detective Batman. He comes with a missile flight pack and infrared lens decoder. This is from the new Batman Adventures. You can see Batman, Nightwing, and Robin. New Crime Solver Dynamic Decoder Gear. He's got this, I don't know, sort of flight backpack thing, a little gun, makes no sense. You can see him using his accessories here. But more importantly, it is a regular, the new Batman Adventures Batman. That is awesome. The back side, you can see here are the figures from Wave 1. We've got some of the heroes, Mad Hatter. I don't think they even made a Batgirl in this line, and that's kind of disappointing. Here's Batman using his accessory, and here are the rest of the figures from Wave 1, most notably... The new Batman Adventures Batmobile. Very nice. Here we have Crime Solver Nightwing with radar rocket and magnifying decoder. New Batman Adventures. Crime Solver Dynamic Decoder Gear. Standard looking Nightwing. Crazy accessory. Some sort of flight pack, another gun, and a missile launcher. Here he's using those things. Backside, you can see Gotham City, got the Batmobile, Bat Signal, Batman and Mad Hatter. Here's Nightmare using the accessories and the rest of the wave. Now let's look at Crime Fighter Robin with Red Wing Sky Fighter and Mirror Image Rig Decoder. New Crime Solver Dynamic Decoder Gear. He's got what appears to be a glider, but it's actually some sort of sky fighter, little jet thing he can ride. Regular looking Robin, Tim Drake, pretty small, but in standard coloring. Backside, you can see Batman running through the streets of Gotham. Here is Robin using the accessory and the rest of the wave. Then we have the Mad Hatter with robotic rabbit and mind control transmitter. I believe this would be the first Mad Hatter figure ever made, and he looks pretty cool. Jervis Tech. His design was pretty similar to the Batman the Animated Series. He's got this robotic rabbit. Backside, you can see a bunch of villains with the Arkham Gate. Here's his rabbit, and the rest of the wave. And of these four figures, the only one I have loose is Mad Hatter. You can see I've got the rabbit accessory as well. I've had this Mad Hatter for a long time. I believe I got him when it was the only Mad Hatter available. Here's Wave 2. We've got a Street Strike Batman, Undercover Bruce Wayne, Wildcard Joker, and Creeper. I am missing two figures from this wave, and those are Force Shield Nightwing and Night Glider Batman. So let's check out what I have. Here is a Street Strike Batman with Lightning Ludge and Batarang Decoder, New Batman Adventures, Crime Solver Dynamic Decoder Gear, an orange armored Batman, and he has some sort of little cycle thing. You can see the wheel here, transparent Batarang. Here he is riding it. Backside, you can see our heroes at LAFCO. Pretty cool image. Here's him with his accessory, and here's some more figures from Series 2. Here's that Nightwing and Batman that I don't have. Here is Undercover Bruce Wayne with Bat Armor and Villain Decoder. Pretty cool to get a Bruce Wayne. He's got a trench coat, business suit. Here's a contest, enter a million dollars. Crime Solver, Decoder Gear. 
this Batman you could take off his trench coat put his cowl on pretty cool backside here you can see Batman in the cave with his mask off whole bunch of different villains here here's Batman without the armor and with a suit on and here is the rest of series 2 now we have wild card Joker with calling card cannon and funny guns two large pistols Joker there pretty nice little card accessory backside you can see him shooting his card missile and here's how the accessory works and the wave then we have the creeper creeper is Jack Ryder in one of the episodes of the New Batman Adventures kinda cool to get a figure of him he comes with some sort of camera type thing he was a reporter at first I believe backside here's Jack Ryder here's the creeper looks like we got the Joker car Harley Quinn peeking around the corner now the creeper was in an episode with the Joker and he's a very appropriate not exactly a villain but character to be around the Joker backside's quite a bit different than the other figures here and of these four figures I've got Bruce Wayne loose and the creeper loose I typically got all the different Bruce Wayne to Batman figures I get my hands on and the Creeper was sort of a new character or villain. Had to get them loose. And over time, not only did I have the red Bruce Wayne, but I got an orange and a gray one as well. I'm not sure where they came from. I'm sure I'll come across them in some future videos. Here are the two packs that I have. We've got Batman vs. Two-Face Battle Pack. It's called Arkham Asylum Escape. And then we have the World's Finest Two-Pack. It's the Adventures of Batman and Superman. This Arkham Asylum escape pack has Two-Face, has Batman, has very impressive Arkham Asylum sort of gate in the background, a fence, very, very cool. That's one of the grail pieces from this line, Batman vs. Two-Face battle pack. Backside, you can see we've got a whole bunch of different figures from the line. Here's the gate assembled, here's the Batmobile, and here are the accessories from this set. It even comes with a little sort of straight jacket type thing. You can see Batman holding him over the gate. Then we have the world's finest two pack The Adventures of Batman and Superman. This was a Walmart exclusive back in the day. You can see the rest of the line here. And there are the two figures. Of these two packs, I tracked down an Arkham Asylum Escape pack on eBay a few years ago. I actually have this Two-Face and Batman somewhere, but they weren't too important to me. It was getting this Arkham Asylum entry gate that I really wanted. This thing's absolutely fantastic. Like I said before, it's one of the grail pieces in this line. A really unique accessory. Diamond Select made a similar piece many years ago in their TV show Gotham line. And theirs is considerably better than this one, but this is still very nice. And this is the original. Here are the deluxe figures they made. We have Silver Defender Batman and Hydrojet Nightwing. Silver Defender Batman with Assault Force Sled and Multi-Launching Cannon. Here he is using his accessory a little bit over the top. He's in a silver art suit, a bunch of missiles to launch, deluxe, two-in-one battle pack and assault vehicle. Here's a bunch of stuff for the rest of the line, and here's Batman using his accessory. He can ride on it, and using it as sort of a missile launcher behind him. Then we have Hydrojet Nightwing, with Airborne Water Sled. Contest win a million dollars, Deluxe 2-in-1. Here's Nightwing, little breathing apparatus, and he comes with a little boat. Actually pretty cool, he used something very similar to that in the series, at least once. Backside, rest of the line. And I actually don't really show him using his accessory. Kind of interesting. Now let's look at the vehicles that I have. This is the only one I have still sealed. Night Camo Batmobile. It's pretty much the Batman the Animated Series Batmobile. Put out with some camo colors. And it looks like it's camo made out of bat signals, which is pretty cool. Includes exclusive Batman figure. Two vehicles in one. Exclusive camo design. 
kind of cool. Pull out wheel shredders, jet deploys from Batmobile. You can see at the top, got the jet coming out. One side, pretty much the same thing. Notice this one is from Hasbro, not from Kenner. Hasbro pretty much absorbed Kenner during their Batman line. And they're able to release pretty much all the old molds. They purchased everything that Kenner used to be about. Bottom, once again, same thing. And in the back, you can see the Batmobile with a little jet coming out. Canopy opens, jet comes out. Wheels have little shredders that come out. It's not a bad accessory, although I completely prefer the classic colors. And although I don't have the Night Camel Batmobile open, I do have two of the standard, the new Batman Adventures Batmobiles open. I got this one first a long time ago. No stickers. Missing the canopy. I still thought it was kind of cool as a convertible Batmobile. And I got this one eBay, quite a bit cheaper, still has the stickers on it, has the canopy, it's actually functioning. Good looking car, definitely wanted to have this Batmobile represented in my action figure collection. And of the playsets they made, I have them both. We have the Joker Toxic Lab and Gotham City Bank. The Joker's Lab is the exact same playset as Mr. Freeze's Lab from the Batman and Robin line. The Joker Toxic Lab bubbling acid bath and capturing claw. You can see Nightwing, Batman taking on the Joker here. Backside, all the different action features and accessories that come along with it. Then we have Gotham City Bank, bust out bank doors and bending vault doors for action packed heist. This thing came with some bags of money, some gold, you can see Matt Hatter there. Backside, all the different action features and accessories. Of those play sets, I've got the Joker's Toxic Lab loose and complete. I've also got the Gotham City Bank loose and complete. These two play sets were pretty cool additions to my action figure collection, although I've retired them as they're a bit too cartoony. The Joker's Lab is too small, too colorful to be my Joker base. And the Gotham City Bank used to be a pretty cool part of my action figure setup, but like I said, a little too cartoony. I've retarded it. Here's another two-pack that I have. This one is from Hasbro, when Hasbro took over the line. Batman vs. the Joker. As you can see, it is a Walmart exclusive by Hasbro. They don't look like they have any traditional accessories. Batman vs. the Joker. Pretty similar on the bottom. On the back here, got a little description, if you want to read that, go ahead and pause. Batman fighting the Joker. Pretty basic. Now let's look at some of the four packs that I have. This is the Night Force Hero Collection. It contains all four heroes from the show. Batman, Batgirl, Nightwing, and Robin. They're all pretty much in the classic colors, except for this silver Batman. I thought the four packs were pretty cool. I'm sure they were great value at the time. Night Force Collection. Night Force Collection, all four of the heroes. Backside, you can see each of the heroes and a little description. This next four pack, these are the superheroes versus supervillains. We've got Batman and Superman versus Joker and Lex Luthor. This is probably based off the film World's Finest, which was originally, I think, a three parter between the new Batman Adventures and Superman and the animated series. You can see we've got Batman here, a little missile launcher, Superman, and he has a Clark Kent disguise, kind of cool. Joker, and then Lex Luthor, and he's got his armored green suit. One side, superheroes are supervillains, all four of them. We've got superheroes versus supervillains at the top and at the back. Got a description of each of the figures. And then this four pack doesn't really have a name like the other ones, but it contains Batman, Robin, Alfred, and Clayface. I'm not certain if this is the only way to get a new Adventures of Batman, Alfred. I don't personally have this Alfred loose, and I kind of wish I did. A little smaller than what I collect, but it's a cool figure, and he comes with a really cool serving tray and a silver dish. And then Clayface here, I believe this is the only way to get him in that light brown color. 
and without the spike ball in his hand. As you can see, Batman with a missile launcher, Robin with that same glider from before, Alfred with a food tray, and then Clayface, he's got a safe and some dynamite. Pretty nice accessories. The top simply shows all the different characters' names. One side, all four names. And on the back, we do have a description if you want to read it. Go ahead and pause now. And you can see Batman and Robin post up on the side. And of these four figures, I did manage to track down a loose clay face on eBay. Like I said, I believe this is the only way to get this color scheme clay face and with the regular hand. I'm a big clay face fan, so I wanted all the variations. And speaking of all the variations, here are all three different color schemes. The dark brown one on the left is from the original Batman the Animated Series line. The middle one there is from the Adventures of Batman and Robin. It's from an 8-pack, a rogues gallery pack. And this one on the right is from the new Batman Adventures 4-pack here. So that's a look at all of my different the new Batman Adventures action figures. These are all unopened and still sealed with the original tape. My collection is not fully complete, but it's pretty close. Keep an eye out for the next episode. That's going to contain all my Batman Mission Master figures. There are a ton of those. And after that, we'll get to Batman Beyond and then the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure collection and action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. This is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.